Good morning, everybody. Pastor Stitch, Narrow Path Christian Church, B.C., Bay City, Michigan. Welcome to the Biker Devotional. So this morning, reading in Proverbs chapter 8, because it is February 8th, 2023. We read about a person named Wisdom. And I know most of us wouldn't think of it that way, but that's the way it's described. Doesn't wisdom call out? Doesn't understanding make her voice heard? That's the very first verse. And verse 8. Verse 10. Accept my instruction, instruction. Verse 12. I, wisdom, share a home with shrewdness or good judgment and have knowledge and discretion. Verse 14, I possess good advice and competence. I have understanding and strength. Verse 17, I love those who love me, and those who search for me find me. Verse 19, my fruit is better than solid gold, my harvest than pure silver. 20, I walk in the way of righteousness along the paths of justice. 22, the Lord had me at the beginning of creation before his works of long ago. I was cut out before ancient times from the beginning, before the earth began. 24. When there was no watery depths and no springs filled with water, I was brought out before the mountains and the hills. Verse 30, I was a skilled craftsman beside him. I was his delight every day, always rejoicing before him. And it just keeps going. You see, one of the things we often forget is God, the Holy Spirit, Jesus Christ, is a person who is able to interact, cries out and, and shares with you. And one of our biggest struggles is that we don't listen. One of our biggest struggles is we don't listen. The chapter starts out with wisdom calls out at the heights overlooking the road, at the crossroads, she takes her stand. Beside the gate, at the entry to the city, the main entrance, she cries out, People, I call out to you. My cry is to mankind. This is where most of us miss it, myself included. Wisdom, God, Jesus, the Holy Spirit, is right there speaking crying out at every moment and all we have to do is apply it unfortunately for so many of us we miss so much so my question to you today is will you take a minute to try to hear the small still voice of the Holy Spirit who we could call wisdom it's a great insight for today it's a, a duh but the reality is, um, it's the biggest woe that could ever come about. We should know it, and yet, it's so hard to grasp. And yet, it's right there. Try that today. Just try to hear God speak. I love y'all. I hope you have a great day. God bless.